In Mayo Clinic Cell Therapy Laboratory in Jacksonville, Florida, Dr. Abba Zubair and a dedicated team strive to achieve some very lofty goals to harness the power of stem cells, to fight cancer, prevent organ transplant rejection, repair the damage caused by stroke, and more. And yet, as a boy in Africa, Dr. Zubair had set his sights even higher on space. I really wanted to be an astronaut. Our career guidance uh, advisor looked at me and said, Abba, you can do anything you want, but before Nigeria starts sending rockets, uh, it may not be in your lifetime. If not space, he decided he would explore ways to fight disease, and that led to his fascination with variations of the stem cell. The stem cell is able to divide continuously when needed um, um, for this lifespan of the organism. The cells also have the ability to differentiate into virtually every type of tissue, which is why doctors are using patients' own stem cells to heal bones and nerves and hearts. The challenge is growing enough of them fast enough for the demands of treatment therapies and research. For some type of stem cell, uh, microgravity actually induces them to grow faster. Microgravity, as in space. Parabolic flights of aircraft can simulate weightlessness, but only for very short periods. Main engines up and running and lift off of the Falcon 9 to the space station. But Dr. Zubair will expose stem cells to microgravity for a full month. The cells will be cultured on the International Space Station in an automated bioreactor, holding multiple incubator cassettes. Considering that fluids don't mix well in the weightlessness of space, it's no simple task. The cassette is specially designed to allow mixing of um, uh, reagent and fluids, um, and it has multiple ports. And it's specialized in, in such a way that uh, the cells can be fed. The entire experimental container is only about the size of a suitcase. Interestingly, finding ways to kill cells is also a key objective. Dr. Zubair says because chemotherapy may be the most toxic while cancer stem cells are dividing, they are one of the three cell types he's eager to launch into microgravity. It can induce cancer stem cell also to divide. That makes them susceptible to the chemotherapy. As for that boyhood dream of visiting the space lab personally, it's still flying high. I applied to be uh, as an, an astronaut for the class of 2017, so you never know. Yeah. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Dennis Dota.